Expanding skills training in secondary schools will be an area of top priority going forward in 2022. As Education Minister Emily Pierce says, the role of TVET and skills training in the transformation of society will be examined. Minister Pierce says it forms part of the government's agenda for economic diversification. Mr. Speaker, opportunities for technical and vocational education for all of our learners. So, Speaker, traditionally we have this perception that TVET, when you speak TVET, when you speak skills training, you're talking about the children who are not doing well. Mr. Speaker, great mistake we have been making, and we have to correct that. The mindset when it comes to skills training has to be transformed. Thus, the education minister says, vocational learning will be given prominence in our education system just as academic qualifications. Mr. Speaker, at this time, we are working on the qualification framework. As I've said before publicly, we must get to that point. Thousands of people have been doing CVQ after CVQ. We must get to that point where we can say what a CVQ is equal to, is equivalent to. She says the divide must be eliminated in regards to skill-based and academic learning while giving proper recognition to people who contribute to national development via skilled labor. And so, Mr. Speaker, our skills policy will be finalized in 2022. A lot of work with stakeholders took place this year. Our TVET policy and strategy, we've already had a launch of one, Mr. Speaker, and we conclude that in 2022. She highlights the French American Institute in Montreal and the government making factory impose as the start to such a process. Meanwhile, the education minister knows that in 2022, an assessment of exams will be conducted. Mr. Speaker, examinations would also be reviewed in the context of why do we put students on their examinations? What do we do with the results of examination? Careful attention, Mr. Speaker, in 2022 would be placed in that area. Do we have too much exams? I am Jara Joseph for GBN News.